Till this time we learned many methods to find out the derivative of a function but uh, in those all cases we just learned how to find out the derivative of uh, you know explicit type of the functions. Functions something like uh, in one side you have y then in another side you had just x like something like 3x square plus 4x plus 9 something like this you know in one side you had x and another side y and you can easily find out the derivative of this dy over dx will be now 3 times 2 that will be 6x and this will be 4 like this you know this is you know a kind of explicit explicit type of differentiator or simply explicit differentiation you can say you know uh, differentiation so you you learn this is explicit explicit differentiation now now we are going to talk about something different which is called implicit implicit differentiation but you know before learning implicit differentiation you should have concept of implicit function what is implicit function this was you know this was a explicit function now implicit function you know something like this like uh, everything is mixed you know i mean not everything i mean both uh, x and y are mixed something like uh, let me give, first give you a function something like uh, x square plus um, 2xy plus y cube now see here equals to 0 in this in this equation if you see x is also there y is also there you know for this you may solve uh, y or may not be you know you may become able to solve y or may not be uh, it may be difficult so you know it is mixed something like you can say let me give you one more example something like uh, uh, y square plus 3x square y plus x cube uh, equals to 99x something like this so this type of the function everything is mixed and now how to find out the derivative you know uh, we cannot solve you may solve you know I, I already told you you may solve for the y value of y or may not but yes you can now actually you know in this case you can find out the derivative of the y with respect to x in this type you know in this type of the function you can easily find out the derivative of the y you can find out the derivative for this right so how to find out the derivative of this so the the way or the procedure of finding derivative dy over dx of these types of the functions you know is called implicit differentiation and it's not that much hard and fast you know it's very simple you know and in to 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 do this you know you should have the very good concept of the previously what we had learned you should have the very good concept of the power rule and the uh, sum rule and you should know product rule quotient rule those all rule you should know and you should be able to you know differentiate anything with respect to any base you know if i'm giving one particular base and if you if if i ask you hey differentiate that then you should be able for that all right so uh, suppose i'm taking here i'm just taking the example of this only here here I have taken like it is x square plus 2xy plus y cube equals to 0 right and now I need to find out the derivative of this equation dy by dx right we need to find out so now see I'm going to differentiate with respect to x both side I'm going to differentiate with respect to x so it will be like derivative of x square with respect to x right and again derivative of 2xy with respect to x and derivative of y cube with respect to x right and now let's let, let's go further if you see here like see here this is going to match right and uh, so in this case it will be derivative of x squared it will be 2x now if you come in this point see here 2 is a constant quantity so let me put outside I mean it's a coefficient there is no problem and now it is x times y right derivative of x is one thing and derivative of y is one thing so you know here we need to use the product rule you know like if it is u and if it is v you can say this is the first function and second function so uh, now the derivative of this will be you know I'm trying to put in the bracket second function times derivative of the second function right first function actually this is uh, x is first function so first function times derivative of the second function that is y with respect to x and again second function times derivative of the first function with respect to x right I finished this part also now let's talk about the last part which is y cube now see if you see it is not going to match you know right so what I have to do now again yes so I'm going to use your power rule and for before that you know I need to do something like this like derivative of y cube with respect to 
y times derivative of y with respect to uh, x you know because uh, you can say this is like something like uh, as we had learned in the power rule you know in power rule what we had learned like derivative of z to the power n with respect to x what you had learned it is n times z to the power n minus 1 times dz over dx because here z is itself another function you know z is itself another function so similarly we need to behave here so you know y to the power 3 it is uh, like y is our base whose power is 3 but y is not going to match with x means y is a different function than the x means x is not the component of the function y here right x is not the component of function y means in the function y there is no place of x in this case that's how we need to differentiate y differently and we had done this many times I think and uh, you, I hope you remember this so it is 2x plus now 2 times now see x times dy over the dx plus now this this will cancel or you simply write y that's not the problem all right so you got this and then plus now see here derivative of yq it will be now I'm going to use power rule here so it will be 3 y square times dy over dx and it's all equals to 0 all right and in next step let's do further it will be let's let's break those all right 2x plus now this is again uh, this is going to multiply it will be 2x dy over the dx again 2y and again plus 3y squared times dy over the dx equals to 0 after solving the equation you know our main motto is now to collect those all places where dy by dx is there right so from from those things uh, you know from these terms you know we need to take the common dy over the dx so first I'm going to put those all in one places all right so it is 2x times dy over dx plus 3y square dy over dx I put those all so it is it will be better to take me common now next in next step and this 2x I'm going to I mean I'm going to put in next side so it will be uh, minus 2x and this is 2y so this will also gain, uh, go in another side so it will be minus 2y and in next step you know what I, I can do I can take this delta uh, I mean dy over dx and dy over dx common so I will get dy over dx common and in the bracket I will get 2x plus 3y equals to again minus 2 I can take common so it will be x plus y and finally I got my dy over the dx means derivative of the function y with respect to x as a uh, minus 2 x plus y divided by 2x plus 3y so like this we need to calculate the dy by dx in, in, in this type of implicit function you know first what you have to do first uh, simply you have to differentiate with respect to x and see whether they are going to match with uh, match or not see x and as x are going to match no problem x and this is not going to match right you know in one case is if with one it is going to match means there is one function and with another it is not going to match means there is some errors there is some problem so we used here th there are two functions we, we came to know new because these are not going to match two functions there are so since two functions are uh, multiplying each other so we need to use the product rule I use the product rule here and here at one places I got dy over the dx I hope you, un you have understand here and here actually it is y cube it is another function you know it is not going to match so I, I, I choose the same base you know it, it should be matching so now here it is matching and next time dy over the dx alright because that's another function and then just next step what you have to do uh, just uh, solve it a little bit more and s at last you need to see wherever you know in any type of the problem whenever you'll be doing you need to collect all those dy over the dx every 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 terms where which contains the dy over the dx in one part and then take the common from them take the common this dy over dx from all those terms and separate it and then and then and then just write dy over the dx that's it this is the process how to solve it alright 
Uh, I hope you understand this and I will be solving a uh, couple of more problems of uh, finding derivative of this type of implicit uh, 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 equations or you can see implicit differentiations problems I'll be doing more and if there is uh, more I mean I mean some problem or like if you feel any kind of difficulty or you didn't understand my explanation then feel free to comment just below this video uh, if I'll get the time definitely I will try to reply it back all right we'll meet in the next video goodbye